what are youth finances brought to you by Youth Empowered Botswana. Today we are looking at startups, particularly the financing of startups. I am not alone. I am with one of the, I'll say, promising businessmen of our time. <laughs> Tata, what's well, 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 well. Eh? Oh, okay. I'm smiling. Ah, okay. I'm getting the accolades. <laughs> okay. So, let's talk about Tong, and I'm sure you heard Kamutsuedi, the very first game. Yeah, Botswana knowledge board game. Yeah. Botswana, first, Botswana's first knowledge yeah. board game. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Mutsuedi. Mutsuedi, yes. So, Botali and Jobutuaka. Anyway, I'm going to ask Tatas to introduce himself to all of us while we look at how he started his business and the the lessons he's learned about money, about using funds that he has from pockets from people, and just running, running it and growing it, and uh, the lessons and the challenges that he has encountered. So, enjoy. But over to you. Introduce yourself to us, please. Oh well, uh, at a personal level, my name is Tabiso Titus Paul. Mm -hmm. uh, born out of a small village called Machane. Machane. Yeah, I started my school there. Went yes. to Pico and then went to finish of my junior secondary. Go my channel, go my and then went to boarding school in Sosho. Mm -hmm. Sosho, yeah. Yeah. And then from there, went to University of Botswana. Studied. Uh, no, in fact, I took a gap year. Mm. You took a gap year. Can I have a two thousand gap year? Yeah. So. Give me two baba. Baba really. Oh, the trust funds. Nah. <laughs> no, I think I. Well, of course, I gave myself a privilege of kids uh, with trust funds when yeah. I didn't have one because the books I was reading at mm. high school, they get me like appeared a lot of times yeah. and uh, it was like, I'm going to self-reflect mm -hmm. and fortunately, and that was a perfect excuse. Yeah. I thought, ah, no, I'll take my year. Mm -hmm. Then in that, so what are you going to do? Everyone was like, no, no, I'll see what to do. And then I was working here and there. I remember I was in my school and then I worked for government, I was in field assistant. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and then I came to university, did my uh, Bachelor of Arts, Social Sciences, mm -hmm. uh, political science and mm -hmm. uh, minoring in economics from mm -hmm. there. Uh, the same thing happened again <laughs> when everyone was looking for a job yeah. and then I was fortunate enough to have been offered one mm. <laughs> and I said and my answer was simple uh, I'm still a uh, discovery myself wow. mm, can I go and serve my community mm -hmm. and then they came in uh, community projects and then end up having to be an NGO called Machining Achievers Association mm -hmm. so we're doing basically community engagement mm -hmm. okay yeah so uh, that is me, Kikwanela Koma Chaning, and um, well, uh, I got 2016, I, I went to work on radio short time. Mm. From there, I went to work at a farm about eight months, and then went back to radio, uh, where I'm still, yeah, on freelance basis, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm doing radio, and I'm doing a business forecast show called The Boardroom. Mm. Yeah, so that is essentially in a short saying that you so tight as Paul, yes. All right, so I'm going to talk to you about the idea that I'm going to talk to you about the idea that I'm going to talk to you about, if I may use that word. Yeah. But don't ever think like that, but I'll just use it just for this context. Yeah. I'm going to talk to you about the idea that There are people who actually say, or someone actually says, I don't remember the name, they say that leaders are readers. Yeah, exactly, yeah. As you read, you learn a lot mm. and that lot can actually change the trajectory of your life exactly, yeah. for the good so some people don't even want to work yeah okay. but that was a, it was an, an, an experience that's where now mm. i think okay we will have the money conversation later but <laughs> the nicest experience about that is like uh, i was earning a lot of money i was earning 1900 1,900. Yeah. You know, I was paying rent for 300 bucks. Wow. <laughs> that is not bad, actually. Yeah. That is really and, not uh, bad. And with food, man. Mm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
khaola la thogo ko kwa thogo ya khaoga o na le se shabo ha ba ja you are the first to get we are going to miss come and get and yo so the cost the live yeah so the the living cost in 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 that small village called mokobeng was it's just like fine yeah so that's why now i's like i can have my own money na i can start moving things around and all this and that yeah and you know i always tell our young people how 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 heads are calling go us o romero go di khaolong don't refuse go di khaolong wa go save that's where life is that's man that's where life you know, is uh, that's where life is yeah mm I given the chance out cuz like like what hella like this they'll treat me like one of their own yeah because yeah, I would go now like I'm agree khaya me ke masimo hella go le milo kwa nka era phoso ka tsana kwa go je wa ya 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 ha mo le mise ta one team ga go eng go e ntire tsa mathata o tire le tota e ntshitse go le go ntse ta o bona o tsana kwa hella ha le ro tshere kolo e ba go ba go fasetsa magapo mo te mo ta bona re ra ngo pero so ai ma ma tsela go ga eta ta i think yeah you are very right yeah mm. but also means that it also shows who you are yeah yeah as a person yeah, yes. your character and how yeah. you related to the people mm-hmm. yeah. and how they responded to you yeah. so thank you for actually being one of the responsible young people oh, young indeed. citizens in, yes, in the yeah. country yeah. but there's a reason why we actually also called you here because yes. of your company because of your of your game yeah um can we just test my knowledge a little bit before we, we delve into into now some questions about right. finance yeah, we can do a bit of started up yeah yes okay so, so actually tell tell p- people what, what what these are well uh, i brought uh with myself uh, our product offerings here so yeah. this is like essentially your um, mahele this is an indigenous knowledge that uh, you can get it anywhere else you know only okay. to realize this is not a, only a Botswana product ah. the, it's wide out in Africa and the Emirates and everywhere it's just that the name is quite different okay. even in in western countries they, they call it top men morris mm-hmm. so even in ancient greece they played this game it's okay. a game of strategy calculation mm-hmm. tactics and the like. so now the idea was like but we play this thing mm-hmm. and it it, it takes a lot to find this in a shelf mm-hmm. of a chain store of okay. a retail store so we said let's now export our culture yes. this is what uh Muhele is about we don't have copyright over it we just have copyright over the artwork okay because your name is essentially uh, a, a, an indigenous game yeah and actually and, and, and nowadays young people are struggling and suffering and we're like yeah. if you have a game that can actually give you mm. tools to visualize yeah. your life yeah. and then plan for it mm. Then do it to help you calculate yeah. come up with tactics exactly. help you analyze mm-hmm. things and come up with a strategy yeah. for your own life exactly. and for your own money this yeah. could actually be a, a good game too yeah. okay right, yeah so then this, this one here this then would be malaya kosi mm. if you know what it's one saying that says malaya kosi why you die yes so there's a game of values this is a game of compliance right okay. so that's why we say learn compliance build character and have a blast so mm. it takes every shape so what we do with our games is we want something that can relate to each and every one yeah so if you're a financial a uh, plenty person or yeah. if you work in the finance sector you want to teach finance we can make malaya khosi exactly as it, your mandate requires mm-hmm. you to be if you are into governance yeah. we do it we, cu- we customize it to governance if you are doing um etiquette but the general one that uh, would be on the shelves without being uh, customized would be the one that just is about a bit of financial literacy but etiquette mm-hmm. hey listen tell us how you wake up what do you so mm-hmm. so this should be a welcome Uh, to the world for young kids okay. and also that are coming outside and then here is the main product yes yeah. yes yes okay so motswedi uh is uh, like yeah botswana's first knowledge board game and uh it's in, it's it was inspired by having to have the that chaseho ya go gore batswana ba itse ka botswana because you know uh when board games were played at, at i think ne le mo prime ka nako ya the lockdown yes yeah so we, like we, i've seen all sorts of games tell mm. her they're not from botswana yeah and i'm like i played once twice i'm like ah, no guys let's come back home mm-hmm. yeah so it was it's, it's a process that started from that thing yeah. well how well do you know botswana do you know a minister of sense so do you know this village but he can 
at the top of your voice describe better Washington DC than Francis Town. Imagine. Yeah, so Get ahead. Like, yeah, no, we want to close that gap. Make sure that we are patriots, we know our country, yeah. then we know ourselves such that we can even know the opportunities that we can have more high. Awesome. So this is this is Motuidi, yes. Yeah. And then uh, Motuidi has a board. Yeah. And then uh, has a timer mm -hmm. and has the tokens. Okay. And uh, also another thing about Motuidi is it takes every shape, it, it fits in every industry. Okay. So this is just general knowledge, Botswana knowledge. Okay. Yeah, uh, from heritage to our leaders and all that. Yeah. And uh, uh, as you, how you play it is a descriptive game. Okay. Yeah, it's a descriptive game, and uh, what we see is uh, I, I will give you clues and then please respond. Oh my goodness, yes, yes. All right. Yeah. Uh, can you time it or can you? Yeah, 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 let's All see. right, let's, okay. No, let's... You're going to help me, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You have to help me, yes, yes. Okay, let's just start with Pinaha uh, Dr. Mozaya. Toban. Yes, and then it's a uh, event at my first year, uh, uh, Freshers Ball. Yes, and then uh, it's a part of parliament where our traditional leaders convene. House of Chiefs. Kastwana. Uh, Kotla. Mm -mm. Same, same. On the other coast. Yes, yeah. and then, uh, yeah. okay, what do you get from a bank to finance or anything? To finance? What do you borrow from a bank? Money? Uh, yeah, no, again, it's money, but what kind of money? I don't know, low. Yeah, yes. <laughs> oh. yes. Yeah, so you see, it's it's it's, it's, so it's a, very, yeah, yeah, it's got a bit of culture, but yes. it's, it's also about acquiring new values and heritage for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Well, back in the days, it was the only thing because mm -hmm. everything else was going to but yeah. nowadays, our new values should also involve um, sexual and productive health, mm -hmm. should involve financial literacy and yes. all that. So, in yes. a conversation that in, in, it's part of our culture. Mm. So what now we are doing is with that thing, yeah, element there, yeah, what we are preserving uh, our culture and heritage. Yeah. We also feed in something else that when we are looking into the future, also mm. now we'll be able to have fi financial talks for that thing. Right. I'm, I'm and then it's like, Mama, what is a dividend? Right. Right. Then, then that the conversation. Shares then, yeah. Like then that. that conversation can start out of a game. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what Motuidi is all about. That's good. You're yeah. doing the Lord's yeah. work, basically. Yeah. With, without knowing, but it is the Lord's work. Yeah, it is, man. It you is. Know, knowledge. Yeah. Knowledge, yeah. Is what we, is what we want It's the new people. currency. It's yes. a new currency. Yeah, yeah. And, and how to, and how to, to, to use it. Okay, no, I, I mean, come on. Yeah. Let, let's, um, let's look up for Motuidi. Let's look out for Motuidi mm. uh, game. How much does it cost? It'll cost you 14. But if we are customizing it now, we will now have to negotiate and see what okay. value we're gonna be adding to you, and because yeah. it's gonna be a different kind of a service. Yes. So, but uh, on the shelves, you should be able to get it at four ten. Okay. Yes. And um, I think I'm, I mean schools. Yeah. Need uh, to buy it's, this. It's only it's only last month, or mm -hmm. it's been two months. Uh, we have a prototype now that is. Uh, junior based okay so the, the the other one is like and the whole but it's more adult based okay so we now need to lower it down and to make sure well uh it might not be of immediate interest to know yeah. what standing order is yeah. for a seven for a 12 year old but they must know what parliament is right that's true you see the the, the difference that mm -hmm. content is a bit harder that side mm -hmm. and then this uh, the, the the junior version has got a bit of what they can comprehend or what they should know at that particular point in time and a little bit of what they should know in the future, yes. Mm -hmm. But this one has got a little bit more of current affairs and adult contact. Awesome. Content, content to yeah. say yes. And uh, yeah, for schools, yeah, the junior one has got a bit of curricula. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. that we make learning interesting. And fun. Yeah. And to also show the gaps that exist yeah. in yeah. their learning. Yeah, exactly. All right. So let's just go for a quick break. And after the break, we will talk about how you got started oh yes um because i guess you were a startup I, i'm still yeah yeah right still you're still, still, still a startup over the five year period so right so you're still a yes. baby you're, you're yeah. an infant yeah and we'll look at how you financed your, your your startup and the challenges you're encountering and also just the successes yeah. so far yeah yeah we'll be right back <laughs> 